What's going on guys, Rob from clicksgeek.com. In today's video, we're gonna go over how to properly use keywords in Google Ads, how to set them in the correct ad groups, and just basically kind of like the 40,000 foot view of how you really should be structuring and using your keywords. Okay, so we're into one of our demo campaigns here, which is an electrician. You can see here we're at the search term keyword level. So it's all of the keywords for the campaign in here. So the most common mistakes we see in ad groups, right? So actually, let's start even lower, lower level for beginner, beginner. So each ad group has its own set of keywords in it. All right. So advanced guys, hang with me for one second. I'm just trying to explain this to the beginners. <clears throat> each ad group is its own theme, right? So commercial electrician ad group is going to have keywords that are only about commercial electricians, have ads in that ad group that are only about commercial electricians. Electrical panel upgrades is going to have only keywords about electrical panel upgrade services, stuff like that, and ads talking about electrical panel upgrades, right? So that's how ad groups work, just a you know quick view of that. The thing most people get wrong is the intent. The intent of the keywords is the most important thing when you're running a Google Ads campaign. So what do I mean by intent? So if we go into a commercial electrician ad group, you can see here the, the keywords we're going after are more service based. And then we have the general theme one, which I always put in anyway. But they're more like, all right, commercial electrical contractors, right? So that's someone who's looking for a commercial electrician, a contractor repair. So they have an issue that needs to be repaired. So they're searching for a commercial electrician near me. This is huge. These are great keywords, a commercial electrician near me. So you can see the intent is we're only really trying to get people who have an, a need, a need for something, a, a need to talk to a commercial electrician, right? We're not going after super low intent or broad type keywords, which in, and by that low intent, I mean, something like uh, commercial electrician materials, commercial electrician ideas, commercial electrician training. These are keywords you don't want to go after because they're not what your camp, if your campaign's about getting leads for a commercial electrician, why would you want to go after things that are, the intent is way off from someone looking for an issue that needs to be fixed, okay? And believe it or not, I know some of the advanced guys watching this might be like, why would anyone go after that? But people do all the time, we see it almost every day in all the audits we do for people. So intent is the difference between a winning AdWords campaign and a failing one. And that's something that I teach a lot in the course. And it's really, really important lesson. If you're running Google ads, you have to have the right intent. So if we're doing an emergency electrician, all of our keywords are going to be about attracting leads for emergency emergency electrician, right? And the stuff that somebody would type who has a serious emergency, electrical emergency. And you can see here all the keywords. And this is this is a small campaign, guys, but this is a clone we just deploy for our, our electricians in certain areas. But you can see the intent is very high. It's someone looking for an electrician near them or someone just searching for an emergency electrician. You're not going to go after keywords that are not related to emergency electrician. And what I mean by that, I mean electrician near me that does not belong in this ad group electrician training, electrician apprentice, that kind of stuff is very, very low intent, terrible stuff you don't want to have. It's keywords you don't want to bid on. You only want to bid on the highest intent keywords. And if you're unsure of the intent, don't bid on it. Or if you really need it, separate it into its own ad group and then bid on it and see how it does. But for the most part, you don't want to go after low intent keywords because they're going to bring you shitty results and uh, waste a lot of money. So people always ask us, oh, how do you guys get these conversion rates, 25, 35% and they're like full form leads and phone calls. This is how we do it, right? This is a big piece of the puzzle. It's intent. We're only going after high intent keywords that paired with, you know, a well-structured campaign. Like I'm showing you here, how our ad groups are very structured and everything's very tightly themed and uh, our landing page, it all has to be the same. It all has to be in line and if something's out of line, the whole thing doesn't work and that's problematic and that's how people get messed up on keywords. So that's all I really got for you guys today. Just a quick lesson on intent. Try and implement this stuff as soon as possible. It'll com completely change your, your uh, Google ads campaigns. And also don't be afraid to have a small ad group. All right. The more ad groups you have, the better, as long as they're very tightly themed. So obviously, like I said before, I don't want to have electrician near me keywords in an emergency electrician ad group, right? You want to have that in its own ad group. 
And in our ads for emergency electrician, we're going to talk about only emergency type situations for the electricians or why someone will call an electrician, right? So we're going to press those pressure points and try and get people to pick up the phone to call. We're going to have heavy call to actions for them to call too, right? So uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully this little micro lesson was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Besides that, I'll catch you guys in the next video.